So being on the uh, Salomon Wave, I've, I've picked up another pair, which is a uh, an XT4, and this colorway is uh, different to some of the other ones, and it's kind of got this beige, slightly browny sort of color going on. Another cool looking sneaker, again for trail sort of usage really, but uh, also the weather for the good for the weather in the UK being very kind of wet most of the time i think for the price i think i paid i think it was 90 pounds you can't go wrong but i know they kind of go up in price and sell for a lot more around sort of the 145 50 pound mark but what i like about these is still the sort of salomon uh, aesthetic uh, for the xt4 and the xt6 this kind of triangular sort of pattern um, also like this carbon fiber going around um, and then the plastic on top of it kind of gives you very sort of, sort of sports car vibes as well blue is a nice color to sort of offset against everything else uh, and it seems to be salomon kind of do that kind of thing which is a uh, which is quite nice actually it's quite different um, the sole again feels sort of rugged and thick and robust uh, which is what you expect again let's see how that performs and uh, the signature lacing system that they have as well that Again, I'm kind of a fan of this. I'm not a fan of having laces, but I can see why you would have laces anyway on trainers, some trainers, because aesthetically it looks good. Um, but as as I'm someone who doesn't like really tying up my, my laces, this is a, a good thing to have, just sort of basically pulling it and put it, locking it in place. And it also has like an Autolite um, uh, insole. So all in all, another cool sneaker. So here's the details for the Salomon XT4 OG Taffy Vanilla Ice. It comes in a Taffy Vanilla Ice and Blueprint colorway. And it has a, an EVA midsole. And it's also got sort of synthetic uh, materials on the upper. And it has something which is called an Agile Chassis Skeleton. And uh, that's basically the midsole itself. It just adds to sort of stability, really. And it, I like the uh, quickly lace system that they have as well. It's not sort of standard lacing. I think every trainer should come with this kind of lacing. It's uh, really cool. And uh, it has a contour grip outsole. So basically it should sort of last longer and also it's kind of more durable. And uh, basically the, the patterns on there are very sort of heavy and thick. And it's got good sort of uh, pronation control. It mainly comes from the Agile chassis. And the price is £160. So in terms of comfort and sizing, these have a medium to firm sole, slightly sort of on the chunky side. It kind of feels similar to an AMX Plus TN, which is a, an odd kind of comparison to make, but it feels very similar to that because that's also sort of high on the feet. But I think with this one, it, it, it's a little bit, little bit more, I suppose, because of the uh, chunkier grip. But uh, I think at the same time, it, it feels sort of very similar to that trainer. Uh, it's the comfort level is kind of like I said sort of medium to firm there's a bit of squishiness almost like wearing a trainer and it has sort of good a really good sort of support for the arch as well so I, I kind of like that and uh, it's shaped really well there's no sort of wearing time with this because it's mainly sort of the um, synthetic upper however you might feel a little bit of tightness initially but it'll kind of wear, wear away and uh, you can go true to size on these. I think the Salomon have done a good job with their sizing. So they're quite similar to Nike. And uh, again, like I said, I think all the tractors I've tried, this is probably like one of the best ones I've, I've tried. And that's even like comparing to sort of things like ACG, uh, true shoes, trainers, that kind of thing, really. I think this is really, really, really nice. In terms of the look and style, the reason I sort of bought this one is just that the neutral colorway, really. It's a... Uh, kind of pretty much wear it with anything. I think it's a nice and I like the sort of blue undertones on it as well. And the kind of beige sort of almost bordering on sort of orange and sort of brown colorways. Uh, it just looks really nice on feet. And uh, you can kind of wear these all seasons really. And uh, the reason I say that is mainly because like if you're wearing it for sort of hiking and for long walks, it's, uh, it's just a good sort of training to have and it's sort of very breathable as well. And the, the lacing system, I, I think that's really cool as well. It actually looks really cool on the sneaker 
it just gives it a different look and and not like anything else uh, i know a lot of other hiking shoes sort of have this sort of lacing system but uh not kind of in this sort of format in my opinion so in terms of the pros it has a like i said a great lacing system i think it's a great shoe for like uh, hiking especially so if you're uh, out in sort of muddy conditions or basically climbing up uh, hills and rocks etc i think this is a really good one to have and i think they're just good for all seasons like i said the breathability depending on whether you buy the like this isn't like the gore-tex version but depending if you buy the gore-tex version you probably even be better and protected and i just feel like they've got great quality as well so the materials that are used on this is just really really nice and uh for a sort of hiking shoe they're very lightweight which is a plus as well and i personally think the stability is really good on these as well in terms of the cons, I think the cost probably slightly too high. It's 160 pounds. I think if they came in at sort of 130, 140, it'll be it'll be re really good. And in terms of the final ratings, I give the looking style a four out of five. It's it's a really nice looking sneaker, similar to the XT6, and uh, they're very similar both of those sh uh, shoes. So it's just whichever one you prefer. They're sort of small nuances. I actually out of the two, I probably prefer the XT6. In terms of comfort, I give it a 4 out of 5 as well. I think it's uh, not uber comfortable, but it's, it's, it's as comfortable as you're going to get for a hiking shoe. And the quality, I give it a 5. I just think it's a really good, uh, well-made shoe, uh, especially the whole chassis system as well and the lacing system and the kind of upper materials. I think even though they're synthetic, it just feels really nice. And uh, the pricing, I give that a 4. Like I said, I think it's just priced slightly too high. I think if it becomes a bit lower, it would easily be a 5. And overall, I give these a four. I think uh, I prefer the XT6 over this, but uh, this is still very, very nice.